entrance and the fun. See, I have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And this is the sacrifice of the Mass. Let's pray for <clears throat> the intention of Luia Bella, Mark Luis Salazar, his and family, and Calvi's family, Albert Juan Perez family, likewise for Bridgi Cruz, Carmela Tebizamis, Dividend family, Banga family, Spinia family, especially for Michael and William Matthew, Ruina Bunlo for us, and Salazar Chilam families, and families, Silagon families, Winston Luzan family, for Clavins and Chelston, Marlene and your Palm family, Dinner Sophilian family, Gary Nulung family, Bushels and family, Mark Carlos and family, Nieves Sabuton, Dura Foolish Canadian Summers family, Rafi Bulino family, also for the birthday of Hermilita Mangold, for Twinkle, for IB Squadra, Lorna Dominga Stan, also for the souls of Maria Jessica Nguyen, Maria Duan Tituan, Joseph Trung, Rat Trung, also for the healing of Carbin Ligue, Pasisiona Parate, Marun Julian, Shannon Rodrigo, Fred Brezuela, Patsy Brooks, for Felix Silagon, Funga Chalian, likewise for those who has died recently, Emmanuel Prado, Emilia Mendoza, Rolando Subiri, Magdalena Anazarias, likewise for the death anniversary of Michael, for Vicente Sidania Senior, Alba Cluhan, Eduardo Urat, Filumena Cluer, Bibi Reyes, Grat, and for all the souls in Purgatory. Brothers and sisters, we go to church not because we think we are saints, but because we know we are sinners. Fortunately, the Lord is very patient with us. Let us now call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us to our sins, and bring us life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be watchful in keeping your commands. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God besides you who have the care of all, that you need show you have not unjustly condemned. For your might is the source of justice. Your mastery over all things makes you lenient to all. For you show your might when the perfection of your power is disbelieved, and in those who know you, you rebuke temerity. 
But those you are master of might, you judge with clemency, and with much lenience you govern us. For power, whenever you will, attends you, and you taught your people by these deeds, that those who are just must be kind, and you gave your children good ground for hope, that you would permit repentance for their sins. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Lord, you are good and forgiving. You, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my pleading. Lord, you are good and forgiving. All the nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great, and you do wondrous deeds. You alone are God. Lord, you are good and forgiving. You, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in kindness and fidelity. Turn towards me and have pity on me. Give your strength to your servant. Lord, you are good and forgiving. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of your weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings, and the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus put a parable before the crowds. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everybody was asleep, his enemy came, sowed darnel all among the wheat, and made off. When the new wheat sprouted and ripened, the darnels, the darnel appeared as well. The owner's servants went to him and said, Sir, was it not good say that you sowed in your field? If so, where does the darnel come from? Some enemy has done this, she answered. And the servant said, Do you want us to go and weed it out? But he said, No, because when you weed out the darnel, you will pull up the wheat with it. Let them both grow till the harvest. And at harvest time, I shall say to the reapers, First collect the darnel, and tie it in bundles to be burned. Then gather the wheat into my barn. He put another parable before them. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in the field. It is the smallest of all seeds. Barn wheat has grown. It is the biggest shrub of all, and becomes a tree to that birds of the air come and shelter in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like the yeast. A woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour till it was leavened. In all this, Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables. Indeed, he would never speak to them in parables. This was to fulfill the prophecy. I will speak to you in parables and expound things hidden since the foundation of the world. Then the virtues will shine like the sun in the kingdom of the Father. Listen, anyone who has ears. Friends, the gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time, we have very beautiful parables. The Lord is speaking us through parables just to communicate a very powerful message for all of us. Simple parables, and yet things could be pondered upon 
many lessons could be learned from these parables. Three very beautiful parables, parables of the weed and the wheat, parable of the mustard seed, and parable of the living that the woman took and mixed in three meshes of flour till it was living or true. But we'll just focus on the first parable, for it would be too long for us to tackle all the things that could be pondered upon for this Sunday. The parable of the weeds and the wheat. At one point, the sower tried to sow good seeds. And after sowing, then, they left the field only to realize that somebody sowed bad seed or the darnel or the weeds. At that point, when the tribe started to grow, the servants told to the master, Master, have you not sown good seed? How come that they are darnels? or there are weeds coming out. The master was telling, it could have been an enemy's hand in all this. So the servants recommended, could we pull them out, for it might choke the growth of the wheat. But the master said, leave it, leave them alone by themselves, for by pulling out the weeds, you might pour the wheat likewise. Just leave it on the harvest time, and at harvest time, that will be then the time for separation, pulling out, and the darnel will be burned, and we harvest the wheat. It's a very, very strong message for all of us, brothers and sisters, for it speaks about the coexistence of bad and good in this world. Good coexists with the evil, and we could not just easily erase them in this world, and as much as it will surely affect the whole process. This speaks about the patience of God in all of us. The Lord seeing us not merely as good persons, but the Lord is seeing us that there's always something bad and evil from within. And they're always telling us that the church is not a gallery of saints, but a hospital for the transformation of sinners. By and large, all of us, in all of us, in our hearts coexist the goodness and the badness. And the Lord is so patient with us that we have to wait for the final verdict, the final judgment, and in no way that we are the one judging each other. It's always the Lord, the final arbiter, the final judge, but nonetheless, He always gives us space. He always so lenient as the book of wisdom in the first reading is telling us the lord is so patient the lord is so lenient the lord is so kind compassionate and merciful for all of us so as we try to <clears throat> go on in the holy sacrifice of the mass let us remember the many times that we are seemingly judgmental that we think that we are so upright self-righteous forgetting that all of us then is always an admixture of goodness and evil deep from within all of us are needing god's pardon all of us are needing god's mercy and compassion and hopefully as we try to always be reminded especially when we come sit with the holy sacrifice to mass we would always be reminded with the way 
we deal with people, with the way we try our best not to be judgmental and always rely on God's mercy, pardon, and compassion for all of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified in the Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God has sown His word in your hearts, so that to me grow fruitful in your Christian discipleship. With confidence, it has called out to the Father, Father, perfect us in your love. Father, perfect us in your love. May the Church become more fully conscious, fully conscious of her mission as evangelizers of the Word, so that people may be led to renewal and conversion. We pray. Father, perfect us in your love. May government leaders reject the culture of death and revenge by tempering their sense of justice with mercy and compassion. We pray. Father, perfect us in your love. May family members nourish themselves with daily meditation of the Word of God and constant acts of charity. We pray. Father, perfect us in your love. May our beloved dead see the light of your eternal embrace and give them sure hope of the resurrection. We pray. Father, perfect us in your love. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Father, perfect us in your love. Once again, let us pray for those people asking for our prayers, especially for those committing their birthdays, for Ibi Squadra, Luna Dominguez Tan, for the Holy Souls in Purgatory, also for Twinkle, for Carmelita Mangold for the birthdays, likewise for the Souls in Purgatory, especially for Mary Jessica Win Win, Maria Duan Tituan, Joseph Trung Butrung, for Michael Vicente Sedina Senior, for Magdalena Nazarias, Rolando, Emilia Emanuel Prado, and for all souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, perfect us in your love. Almighty Father, help us in our weakness. Send your spirit to strengthen us in our struggle against evil. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
Rendered in sacrifice acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion buried offerings of the law, accept prepared sacrifice for your faithful service and make it holy as you bless the gifts of evil so that with what it has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to unjust our due salvation. Always we to give thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and our God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your great care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. As with all the angels, we praise with one voice. We acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make you later for the gifts we pray. By see the spirit that do fall, so that they may be for us, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time was betrayed and entered into Spanish, took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to Zappos, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar room, supper was ended through the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to Zappos, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. And the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, is a product from for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in the membranes of me. The mystery of our fight. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of our salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the bread and blood of Christ, we begin to end with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church to the world and bring it to the wholeness of charity. The friends, your Pope, Peter and our Bishop, the clergy, the sisters, and for preparing their ministries. Remember also our brothers and sisters who fall asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All have died in your mercy especially for Magdalena. Welcome them into the light of our face. Have mercy on us to all, we pray. The Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you to our ages. We merit to be cursed to eternal life, and we praise glorify you to Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, he to the Holy Spirit, all glory and was yours forever and ever. 
Amen. Praying for the coming of God's kingdom with confidence, let us say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for me be evil. Grace and on peace in our days by the help of your mercy. May us be from sin and save from distress, as we with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, the Apostle, peace I leave you, my peace I gave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the Church, on grace and her peace, and unity, prudence, do will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Friends, this is the Lord Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. How happy are we invited to partake this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon the Lord, the gracious, the merciful, has made a memorial of His wonders. He gives food to those who fear Him. For those of you who cannot receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer you the following prayer. My Jesus, I believe that Thou art truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love Thee above all things, and I desire to receive Thee into my soul. Since I cannot now receive Thee sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace Thee and unite myself entirely to Thee. Never permit me to be separated from Thee. Amen. And let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, o Lord, and lay those you imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. And this we ask to Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended. We may be in peace to serve and love the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>